Well, good afternoon, everyone, or good morning or good afternoon, depending on what time of day it is when you're joining me. So, so many people have asked for a video showing what I actually eat on Slimming World. So I decided to do that. It's taken quite a wee while to put it together. It wasn't as straightforward as I thought, but here we go. And I did struggle, you know, about how to actually put it together because so many of you haven't heard of Slimming World or don't know what it is. It's basically, it's a lower fat, lower calorie diet and it's a group that I attend. There are groups all over the UK and I go on a Thursday evening at half past seven. Now, obviously with social distancing, just now we're doing it virtually over Zoom meetings and that's the way it's went for the last few weeks. So yeah, it's still going well. I started in uh, round about the end of February and as of today, which is, let me check, it's the 28th of May. So I've just weighed in this morning and I'm two pounds away from losing three stone. And that's about 40 pounds since February or the end of February, which I think is fabulous. And the only pictures I can show you is this one here from my channel intro, which was January. So this was probably a month before I started. So that was January. And the next picture was me a couple of days ago. And I can certainly see a difference now with, you know, my face isn't as puffy. It's starting to look a lot more slim. I'm about halfway, <laughs> so I've got about the same again to go. So I'm hoping to get this off by the end of the year. And my consultant said, you know, you should actually be able to do that in the next few months. So that's where I am. And I'm actually building up to appearing on camera, appearing on my videos. And, you know, that's a big reason behind it. I just want to be the best version of myself. It's a really straightforward diet once you get your head around it. And the foundation of this diet is basically, or the, the most appealing part of this diet is all the free foods that you're allowed. Free just basically means you can have as much of this as you like. And that does include pasta, potatoes, you know, rice, all of your lean meats like lean beef, chicken, turkey or pork, you know, any lean meat really. So that is the main selling point as far as I'm concerned. Then you get your healthy extras. You get, you get a, an allowance from an A and a B list every day. Your A allowance will be things like your 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 milk, your yogurt, you know, all the dairy sort of things. So you get an allowance from that. And then you get your B list, which is all your bread. So you also get an allowance from that just to make sure, you know, that it's well balanced. In addition to your free foods and your two uh, healthy A and your healthy B every day, you have your sins. Now, depending on how much you need to lose, you'll be allocated between 10 and 20 sins per day. Some of my friends are on 10 sins, some of them are on 20 sins. I am on 15 sins per day. And this is just to allow for extras. You know, if you fancy a bag of crisps or a wee chocolate bar or something like that, every food has a sin value and you just make sure you stay within your sins. And you'll see me referring to sins and healthy A and healthy B as my week goes on. So it will become clearer, you know, as the week goes on. And hopefully at the end of the week, you'll have a full understanding now, obviously, your drinks as well. It's important to stay hydrated. I drink an awful lot of water during the day. But in addition to that, I'll have things like Options Hot Chocolates, which are about two sins, Beefy Bovril if you want a savoury drink, and obviously, um, you know, flavoured teas and coffee and all that kind of thing. These are all f uh, sin-free, which means you can have as much as you want. But definitely drink plenty of water. That's really important. Any sugar-free drink you'll find is sin-free. But I can't stress the importance of water. You know, it makes a big, big difference. And I actually like water with lemon squeezed in. And it's good for your digestive system. And I exercise on the treadmill about an hour every day. And I do that every day in addition to, you know, my usual sort of coming and going in addition to the diet and my exercise, I also take one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar every day. I just swallow it from a teaspoon. If you don't like the flavour of it, you can dilute, you know, dilute it in a glass of water. And I also take raspberry ketones. I take two of them about half an hour before a meal. So breakfast, lunch and dinner, I'll have two of them beforehand. And I'm in no way telling any of you to do this. I'm just showing you what I do and what works for me. 
And this is the t sort of typical snacks that I would have and I would sin these. These are the kind of things I would use my sins for. So your B fiber one bars are around four sins and there are loads of different varieties around and they really do pack a sweet punch and they're perfect if you've got a sugar craving. Slimming World do their own range of snacks, which you can get through your Slimming World group, or they're now selling them in Iceland, and this is them here, for a limited time, just while the social distancing is going on, because obviously you can't get to the group, and these are about three sins each. So yeah, I love them, and again, there are loads of different varieties available to you. I think you can get them on eBay as well, but they're, they cost a fortune on eBay, so I wouldn't recommend that. And for savoury snacks, I've been loving these lentil chips and obviously Weight Watchers do their own sort of crisps and things or something like Quavers or Watsits. You know, a lower calorie crisp will be about four, four and a half sins. So that's what I would typically use my sins for. So let's move on and I'll show you what I actually had during the week and I'll let you know what I lost at the end of the week. So Monday breakfast, I typically have my breakfast between half eight and nine o'clock. So I'm starting off with this Warburton's Thin Bread. That's sin free because I'm using it as part of my healthy bee. Baked beans are free and grated cheese as part of my healthy A choice. So that was sin free apart from the spread. Then I fancied a wee snack about 11 o'clock so I had a pack of quavers. These are just cheese curls and these are about four sins. Moving on to Monday lunch, I like a jacket potato which is sin free, as is obviously all the salad, that's all sin free. And then the tuna is also sin free as long as it's in spring water or brine and I'm going to drizzle on a wee bit of fat free dressing and I'm using light mayo which is one sin. Like I said the tuna is free and obviously your garlic is free. So that whole meal there was one and a half sins. Then I had a wee snack about 3pm and I just had some fruit. Moving on to dinner, this is Monday and it's about half past five. And I had some garlic and chilli greens, these are free. The Aldi vegetable rice is free. The bachelor's ones tend to be about half a sin to a sin. And then the poached chicken is obviously free. And then a wee bit of seasoning just to give it a bit of flavour. And that was a sin free meal. And then at, at night, I wasn't that hungry, so I just had a couple of tangerines and again, sin free. So my total day's sins were six and a half, so well within the 15 I'm allowed. So yeah, I was quite chuffed that day. Moving on to Tuesday and that breakfast time again was about half past eight and I was quite hungry this morning, so I decided to have a bit of a fry up. So I've got some bacon medallions, a couple of corn sausages, some Warburton's Thin Bread, some mushrooms fried in fry light and some baked beans. And that was really filling. And the only sins in that were half a sin each for the sausages. And about half past 11, I fancied a wee bit of a snack. So I had an options hot chocolate, some mini marshmallows and a fibre one bar. Moving on to lunch and I tried a wee lunch pot from the Slimming World range. And these are all sin free. And I wasn't that keen on this, I've got to, you know, I've got to admit, I wasn't that keen on this one, but would I buy it again? Probably not, but it was sin free. Moving on to Tuesday dinner time. And I had some mashed potato, which is free, as long as you don't use any butter or milk or anything. Some Slimming World burgers, some garden peas and sin free gravy. And I really enjoyed this. In fact, that gravy is wonderful. These were the burgers here, and again, these are sin-free, as are all of the Slimming World things. I just used some fry light on top, pop them into the oven for half an hour. And this gravy is frozen, and it just goes in to the microwave for a few minutes, and it's so tasty. So that was me until about 7pm, and I fancied an ice lolly, because it was quite warm. So these were quite nice. So the total sins on Tuesday were 10 so still well within the 15 that I am allowed. Now you can make this diet as healthy or unhealthy as you like. I'm cut somewhere kind of in the middle. Moving on to Wednesday breakfast. This was 9am and I fancied some oats. So I had these Aldi Harvest Morn instant oats with cinnamon. These are sin free as part of your healthy extra B. 
which is from your bread list. Splash of skim milk is sin free because I'm using it as my healthy option A. And then I fancied a yogurt as well and these are half a sin. And about half past two I had some fruit so I had some grapes and apple and obviously that's sin free. And then later on I fancied a hi-fi bar and I had the mint one and these are three sins. All of the hi-fi bars are three sins and they do a wonderful, you know, variety of them. I just love these. But yeah, so we had a mint one of them. Moving on to lunchtime and I tried another of these lunch bowls. This is the chorizo and meatball pasta one. And again, it wasn't that great, but it was definitely filling and that was sin free as well, of course. And moving on to dinner time, this was 5.30 again. We tend to have our dinner between half five and half six. It just depends. I fancied a bit of a fake away, really craving a curry. So I had some white rice, this is free. The chips are also free and that's a Slimming World chicken style sorry, Chinese style chicken curry, which is also free. So that huge plate of food is all free. And like I said, it's a Slimming World free meal and boiled plain rice is free. And these were the chips. Again, these are just sliced potato that you put in the oven. So these are free because there's no oil or anything on them. And that night I fancied another ice lolly because it was another warm night. And these mini twisters are two sins. So my total sins for Wednesday was only five and a half. So well within my sin value that day. Moving on to Thursday and again breakfast at nine o'clock. And I fancied a bacon sandwich. So I've sinned my bread this morning because I'm having a wrap later on which I'm going to sin. So five sins for that. My bacon is sin free. The tomatoes are sin free. Some salt and pepper on the top. And that's the bacon medallions there. It's just bacon with a wee fatty bit taken off. And these are the Warburton Thin bread, sort of sandwich bread, and also a Muller Light yogurt. So that was my breakfast. And later on, I had a high fi bar. This was about half past 11. And like I said, these are three sins. And I had the fruit and nut. At lunchtime, I had a tuna salad wrap. So I've used my wrap as my healthy bee choice and then tuna mayo, and then some salad, some fresh basil, and then peppers. These are all free. The only sins in there is the light mayo. So that was one sin for the mayo. And these are the wraps here. Now, if you weren't using that as your healthy extra B, I think they're about six sins. Obviously, your tuna is free. You've got to sin your mayo. Your garlic is obviously free. And again, the yogurt is half a sin. And remember to drink plenty of water. And like I said at the beginning, I do like lemon in my water. So that was nice and light. So one and a half sins together for the yogurt and the meal. Moving on to Thursday dinner time. This is about six o'clock. So I started off with some broccoli. And then I had some cabbage. These are obviously sin free. And I'm trying another Slimming World meal. Tonight is going to be the sausage and bean Moroccan casserole. This one was okay, not my favourite. I wouldn't buy this one again, but again, they're really, really filling these meals and just packed with veggies and very low in fat. And that was it there. My favourite meal so far from the Slimming World range has got to be the cottage pie. And then at 7pm I had a fibre one brownie bar and these are really tasty. So my total sins for Thursday was 14. So the, the higher end of things, but still within my 15 sin limit. So yeah, moving on to Friday and this was breakfast again, eight o'clock. And I just had some toast with a salmon spread that I love. This is really nice and toast. And again with the war button thin. And I had a yogurt. So this time it was the coffee frappy and that's half a sin as well. And later on, about 11 o'clock, I had a snack. So I had an apple and a bag of cheesy Watsits. But it's nice to know that you can have these wee kind of things. You know, that's what your sins are for, really. 
And then round about 1pm was lunch and I love these Slimming World soups and again they're free and very filling because the pots are quite big. I've tried the sweet corn chowder and also the chicken and vegetable and the sweet corn chowder is definitely my favourite. I also had a fibre one birthday cake bar. Again, these are four and a half sins, but they do really pack a sweet punch and kill off any sugar craving that you might have. Moving on to Friday dinner time and I fancied pasta. So I made a penny arabiata and I'm going to show you quickly in a second how I made this. So everything in there is sin free. The only sin is for your cheese or you can use that as your healthy extra A, which is what I done. So the first thing I done was sautéed and chopped, sorry, chopped and sautéed some onions and garlic. And I use fry light because this is on, you know, on plan with Slumming World. Once they're nice and soft, you can add in some red and green chilies, give them a good stir to soften them up. And then I'm going to add in some passata, give that a good stir around just to coat everything. Then I'm going to throw in a can of chopped tomatoes. Just add some salt and pepper to your taste and let this simmer away. I'm also going to add some hot sauce because I do like spicy food. So it's up to you whether you add this or not. You just want to simmer this for about 10 minutes and it will reduce down and thicken. Boil yourself some penny pasta, drain it off and just add it into the sauce. Give it a good stir around and let this sit in the sauce simmering for about 3 or 4 minutes and that's it. Delicious. <laughs> Also had a yoghurt and again this is half a sin. Later on about 7 o'clock I had a cup of soup and this is the minestrone slimmer soup and I've been joined by Jasper. <laughs> so up he comes. And these are the two that I'm currently drinking. So Friday's total sins, again, the higher end of things at 13 and a half sins but still within my 15 sin limit. And moving on to Saturday, 10 o'clock breakfast this morning. I slept in a wee bit, so I decided to have some toast and boiled egg. Now, the only eggs I like are pickled eggs, but you might not like pickled eggs, but you, you would just use an ordinary boiled egg. So that's what I had. I put some salt and pepper on top, and I also had a banana and a tangerine. Moving on to Saturday lunch, this is about half past 12. And I decided to have a baked potato. So I got a side salad, baked potato with some cheese and baked beans. And that was delicious. And sin free. Because I'm using the cheese from my healthy extra A list. And also had a monster sugar free. Around three o'clock I had an apple and a tangerine. I was just feeling like a wee bit of fruit. And moving on to dinner time. This was about six o'clock. I decided to have the Slimming World Shepherd's Pie or Cottage Pie and that's it there. This is probably my favourite Slimming World meal. So I had that with broccoli and some of the Slimming World free onion gravy. So that was a totally free meal, really filling and I really did enjoy that one. And this is one that I have bought, you know, since then. And at night I was feeling quite peckish so I had some crackers and cheese and apple and some pickled onions as well. And that was really tasty and nice for quite a warm night. It was quite tasty and refreshing. So total sins for the day were four, which is obviously well within my 15 limit. Moving on to Sunday breakfast, this is about eight o'clock and I fancied some bran flakes. So I'm using my healthy extra B on the bran flakes and my healthy extra A on some skimmed milk. I don't use milk in anything else, so I prefer to use this, you know, if I'm having cereal or something. And also a banana and some cinnamon, which is obviously free. Moving on to lunchtime and I had a sandwich. Now, because I had my healthy extra B at breakfast, I've got to sin the bread. So there's about five sins in the bread and about one sin in the mayo. So my sandwich was about one and a half sins. Moving on to half past two, we're actually around my late mother-in-law's, you know, just tending to the garden and that kind of thing because it's ready. We're just getting it ready to go in the market. 
So I had a wee fibre one bar and also a black coffee. So it was only four sins or four and a half sins for the fibre one bar. We went there on the bike. So this is one of our bikes. We've actually got three. So this is a Triumph Rocket 3. We've got a Triumph Thunderbird and also a Kawasaki Z1300. So we've got the three now. <laughs> And moving on to Sunday tea time or dinner time, this is about quarter to six. And again, I had a Slimming World meal. So I had some cabbage and this is some kind of meatball potato stew. I can't remember. <laughs> With a yogurt mint dressing. And this was actually very pleasant and one that I probably would get again. The, the meatballs in the sauce were really nice. Moroccan meatball stew, that was it. I just remembered the, you know, the dressing being really nice. And after that, I'd had some fresh strawberries and a strawberry Muller light. So there's half a cent in the yogurt, but you've got to watch these Muller light yogurts. Some of them have quite a lot of sins in them, depending on what you get. But these ones are half a cent. Then moving on till night time and I never have anything to eat after about 7pm. So around about 7pm is the last time I'll have anything to eat. And I had a wee skinny whip bar. So this is basically a strawberry whipped centre with a very, very thin coating of milk chocolate on the outside. But it's nice for a wee change. And my sins for Sunday were 14 and a half. So that was my week on what I eat in Slimming World. And it's not the same every week. It does vary quite a bit, but I always try and stay within the 15 sin limit. And on that week, I actually lost five pounds. So yeah, so loads and loads of food there, you know, a good variety of things. And like I said, you can make this as healthy or unhealthy as you like. I mean, I know folk that follow Slimming World and don't, they, you know, they don't use any sins at all. They just have fruit for snacks and, you know, they don't have any sort of wee snacky things, which I don't know how they do it, but they are having great success. And likewise, I've got friends who are using more than their sins every day. But like I said, I try and keep well under my 15 sins if I can, because I feel that, you know, the weeks that I do do that are the weeks that I have the biggest success. And, you know, plenty of water. I can't stress that enough. And not only does it clear you out, it, it can make you feel fuller for longer as well. And I think with the addition of lemon in your water, you know, it does help, you know, your digestive system work that wee bit better as well. So yeah, like I said, that was my week on Slimming World. So I hope some of you found that interesting because I know a lot of you that watch me do follow Slimming World as well. And I'm quite new to it. You know, I've only been on it since the end of February. So I'm still learning as well. So if I've made any mistakes, you know, I put my hands up. I am new and I'm still learning. But like I said, since the end of February till now, which is the 28th of May, I'm just shy of three stones and that's about £42. I've lost about £40 and I'm quite happy with that. So onwards and upwards and here's to the next £42. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, about halfway through and I'm just dying to appear on camera and meet you all as my most confident and fabulous self. And thank you all very much for watching. And until I see you next, guys, take care and bye for now. Bye now.